Kia ora year 9, here's video 3, and in this one I'm going to go from the equation to the graph. So this is the um, task we did in class with the stars of Matariki, and in this one we have to first of all figure out which star does the equation go through, and then we'll put in what the star represents. So to do this, just talking about the Matariki part of the task first, um, if you're looking for more really cool animation about Matariki, there's a lovely interactive on the New Zealand Herald website, and if you Google um, stars of Matariki interactive, you can click on basically what is the, the little graph that we've given you in the worksheet and it will tell you the story of all of the individual stars. It's pretty cool. And that's from Professor Matamua and Stacey Morrison. And there's one of the pictures down there that came up when I'm, I'm giving one of the answers away now. When I got to Tupu Arangi, if you click on it, then it will go through the story, which I thought was kind of neat. Okay, now we're going back to the, to the algebra though. So let's go. What we have to do when we're doing from the equation to the graph is we need to find the gradient and the y-intercept. So we're basically doing the opposite of what we did in the video before this one. Right, so for the first one, we've got y equals a half x. We can see in there that the y-intercept is plus zero, right? So there's no y-intercept, and the gradient of one half means I'm going out two and then up one, out two, and then up one. So the first thing to do here is to find the y-intercept and work from there using the gradient. So the y-intercept is here, and my gradient's one half, so I'm going to count out one, two, up one. Now I could join in, um, join the dots now, or to get more accurate, if you're really bad with using your ruler, then you could do a couple more like that, right, out two, up one, and you can see that the star it's going through is Mapariki. Then you grab your ruler, and you join up the dots. Okay, and so you can see that I've got lots of dots there, which makes it, I'm just going to try and get this dead right. There we are. Let's see. Whoosh, there it goes. Okay, so the first one goes through Matariki. And that represents, well, I could write lots of words on that, but I will just put in there, I'll put in ho order and connections and health and well-being, and lots of other nice things. Okay, next one, 2x minus 5. So we start by looking for, if it's 2x, y equals 2x minus 5, the y-intercept is negative 5. So we're going to start down here. I'm going to change pen color, do a red pen. So starting down here, and my gradient is 2. So we go out 1, and then up 2. There's my first point. I'll do another one. Out 1, up 2. Out 1, up 2. That's probably enough. And then we join them up, and we make sure that our line goes on forever. And you can see that, ugh, see my line is not very good there, right? Like, I just haven't been quite accurate enough. I'm going to undo that line, because it's not going through any of the stars. So let's try again. And this time we really want to be careful that it's going to like go exactly through the blobby points. I think that looks better now. I think I just undid my lovely green line, but never mind. Okay, that's better. Now you can see that this time it goes through uh, Pohutukawa. And that one is the star that is about connections to loved ones who've died. Okay, so... That's that one done. Now the next one is also pretty straightforward. Um, well, the y-intercept is very easy. It's negative 5. When we see negative x here, that means that my gradient is negative 1. Because remember from algebra, we never write negative 1x. We just write negative x. So we start, as usual, by finding the y-intercept and then doing the gradient from there. I'll change pen. What will we make it? We'll do blue pen. Okay, so negative 5, and then my gradient is negative 1, so out 1, down 1, out 1, down 1, and so on. And you can see that the star it's going to go through is yt. But again, we've just got to be careful to angle it. The other problem is that I copied this over from a scanned document, which might be why it's going a bit funny. Let's see. Did that work? Yep. There we go. So this one here is y equals negative x minus 5. And that goes through yt, which is the star associated with fresh water, with food that comes from fresh water sources, like rivers. Awa. 
And the next one, 2x plus 3, is another nice easy one. I'll change my pen to the rainbow colored pen. So we've got a plus 3 for my y-intercept here, and then a gradient of 2. So I go out 1, up 2, out 1, up 2, out 1, up 2. We'll do a couple more here. And now I join those up. So grab your ruler. Carefully go through the dots. Yeah, not quite. There we go. Oh, my pen's gone wrong. Make it a bit thicker. There. There's my line. And this one goes through Waita. You can see it down here. So that's the answer to that part of the puzzle. And that's food from the oceans, so Kaimoana. And then the last one has got a fractional gradient. So we're starting to get a little bit more difficult here, but not too bad. So the thing to notice is that our y-intercept is negative 4. And my gradient is 4 fifths. So 4 fifths means I'm going out 5 and then up 4. And we start from the y-intercept. So here's negative 4, and I'm going to go out 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 4. And I'll do it again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 4. Okay, and it goes through tupu arangi. Let's pop that in. Where are we? 4, 50x minus 4. So I'm just going to do three points here, joining them up nicely. We get this. There's my line there. Oh, okay, so that's those done. So just going over the method one more time. Oh, hang on, I haven't done my table. So this star is tupu arangi. And this is food, I'm going to put, well, there's lots of ways to explain this from the, the little bit that I've read, but food from Nera Ranginui, so that's birds, anything above the ground, right? So birds, fruit, berries, stuff that grows on trees, right? Not stuff that grows in the ground, which is coming up in the next video. Okay, so going over the method that we need to use for drawing, for finding the equation, Sorry, not for finding the equation, for, for drawing the graph from the equation. The steps are, first, use the y-intercept. And second, use the gradient. And then that's going to give me my points. And then we're going to join the points. Okay, thanks for watching. In the next video, the difficulty level is going to step up a bit. We're going to have more fractional gradients. And um, and we'll we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to get those finished tonight as well.